Hi, I'm Kevin Borland. I'm a music producer, a guitarist, and a lawyer. I'm going to tell you about an ongoing culinary adventure I embarked on last summer, and I encourage you to join me. Not just by watching my videos, but try it in your city. My quest began Monday, July 25, 2016, when I set out to cycle through the world's 206 ethnic cuisines on my lunch breaks. I called it the No Repeat Nationality Workday Lunch Challenge. In the previous episodes, I sampled 131 ethnic cuisines, mostly in and around the Washington, D.C. metro area. In this 18th episode, I'm going to sample the cuisines of Bosnia and Herzegovina, Malta, and Macedonia. Today I'm going to try some food from Bosnia and Herzegovina. Uh, it's a snack or a dessert called uh, Rujica and it's very similar to baklava. In fact, it may be the same, just a, a different shape. There are rolls rather than uh, flat triangles. Very sweet, very good. I like the uh, crushed walnuts in there. Very good recipe. Today I'm headed to 14th Street to try a dish from Malta. A little crowded in there, hard to get a seat. I would have had to wait like an hour and a half, so I took it to go. really good. Um, it's eggplant, it's a vegetarian, it's got a bunch of other mixed vegetables, it's in an oil. Uh, it's tangy, I, I, there's got to be vinegar in there. Um, I taste onion, garlic, capers, eggplant of course, and I'm having it with uh, some bread uh, that would be typical of their, typical of the region, has some uh, herbs. Very good. Tonight I'm making uh, Macedonian stuffed peppers, and they're called uh, Polnetti Pepirki in uh, Macedonian. Ingredients so far are olive oil, onions, uh, sliced bacon, and ground beef. Next I'm going to add some garlic and some uh, rice that I uh, rinsed. I'm going to rinse off the starch. Then I'm going to add some crushed tomatoes and some paprika. The next step is the fun part, stuffing the peppers. And we're going to close them up with a, a quarter tomato in each one. And we're going to put some potatoes in the pan when we cook it and some sauce. And it should look something like this. I cut them for about an hour, turning them over uh, once, both the potatoes and the stuffed peppers. Uh, and just a uh, reminder, if you're cooking a European recipe and you're getting the recipe from Europe, make sure when you bake, set the oven that you pay attention to whether it is Celsius or Fahrenheit. Uh, this recipe calls for baking your peppers at 250 degrees. If you bake them at 250 degrees Fahrenheit, you would really just be warming them. So, uh, just something, a word of caution. So there's a similar dish that I've eaten many times before in Polish cuisine, the stuffed peppers. Um, let's see how it compares.
It's similar. It's not the same. The seasoning's different. And uh, it's a little tangier. And it's uh, served with boiled potatoes. I don't remember ever having it that way before. Well, Macedonian stuffed peppers are very good. I'm going to post new episodes every Thursday night on YouTube and on my Facebook fan page until I complete my journey. Be sure to tune in next Thursday when I sample food from Western Asia and Panama. I also encourage you to either subscribe to my YouTube channel or like my Facebook page or both. If you do, you'll get to hear a lot of my music and keep tabs on some of the other interesting projects I'm working on. And also, sharing is caring. <laughs>